I would like now to ask Yitzhak Lieb Ahisar to give the valedictory address. Chancellor Wiener, Chairman Iber, President and Vice Chancellor Shepard, Dr. Littlechild, distinguished guests and participants, fellow students, families, and friends, I am pleased to address you tonight on behalf of the graduating students of Concordia University's Faculty of Arts and Science. I'm truly humbled at having been asked to speak, and I would like to reflect on some of those lessons learned in the Faculty of Arts and Science. I'll start by telling you a little about myself. I grew up in a wonderful Orthodox Jewish community in New York, and after completing grade eight, I did not go to a traditional high school, but began to study Jewish law full time. It was in Talmudic schools that I developed skills necessary to seek and incorporate knowledge and to question. Indeed, the Talmud states that the wise person learns from all people and teaches their tongues to say the words, I do not know. We are truly fortunate here in Canada, particularly in Quebec, where people are encouraged to take on the challenges of higher learning. Despite having absolutely no knowledge of subjects as basic as algebra or chemistry, Concordia was willing to give me a chance at the age of 27 to realize my childhood dream of studying science. I faced a steep learning curve, but my professors showed endless patience. I vividly recall my first math course and Professor Barbara Rhodes, who so happily spent time after classes to tell me all about Pythagoras whom I had never heard of. Which leads to the first lesson that we've learned. Concordia did not simply teach us how to be students, but showed us by example what true teaching is like. The professors who were so happy when we came to office hours, who were available to offer their advice and assistance, sometimes long after we had left their classes, have helped to instill in us the essential value of giving personally to others. And in this way, Concordia is also the teacher of those whom we will eventually influence throughout our own careers. Having arrived here without the usual background, I was nonetheless accepted by both faculty and peers as someone who belonged. A fundamental idea espoused by Concordia is that there is no one person more entitled to an education than another. Here at the Faculty of Arts and Science, accomplishment arises from unbiased access to education, hard work, and an appreciation for individual points of view. And this last point is particularly fitting, since concordia in Latin means harmony. We were always encouraged to learn from each other, regardless of our differences, thereby discovering that in many ways we are very much the same. Just four short years ago, I could not quite imagine myself and my classmates proudly marching across this stage to receive our diplomas. I could not imagine that I would be accepted to medical school at McGill. Yet, here we are. To paraphrase Viktor Frankl, we may ask of the meaning of life, but in reality, it is life which questions us as to our meaning. If you have worked these years for your degree, then no doubt you have overcome significant challenges along the way. We have learned of resilience, how with the proper support, even our most ambitious dreams can be realized, and how we can find ourselves in the process and we take this message of growth with us into our futures. Finally, we have learned that our accomplishments are not singularly our own. Rather, they're built on the work of those who came before and are made possible by the sacrifices of loved ones, teachers, and friends. On behalf of my entire class, I would like to thank you who have made it possible for us to graduate tonight. Family, professors, faculty, and friends. I express my deepest gratitude to God for having led me down this path. To my parents and in-laws who are here tonight, to my dear wife Esther, and to my wonderful children, Geula, Shifra, Zion, and Rina, who bravely competed against lab reports for their time with daddy. To Dr. Ian Ferguson for providing me a bedrock of confidence beginning in my first days at Concordia, much as he has done for all of us graduating today. 
to Dr. Kerry Rogers for providing memorably enthusiastic lectures, an open office door, and always a caring listening ear. To Dr. Michael Sasher, my laboratory supervisor and teacher, who nudged us across that bridge from the theoretical into the real world. I wish to make special mention of Hanny and Leila Farag, the generous donors who this year created the Bertie Farag Award for Best Undergraduate Research Project in Biology, which I was awarded and which will continue to encourage students in the years to come. There are many more people who deserve tremendous thanks and recognition, but the time is short. I therefore simply say to you all, we are forever in this together. To conclude, whichever word or two that your diploma may use as a summary of your accomplishments, whether it be biology, exercise science, psychology, or any other of the prestigious disciplines of our faculty. We who have worked hard are well aware of that which remains unprinted. We have just to remember that we are forever graduates of the Concordia Faculty of Arts and Science and to embody the values it exemplifies. And once again, I heartily congratulate each and every one of you. Felicitations à vous tous. Merci beaucoup. Yitzhak, thank you for your generous comments and your wonderful energy and wish you lots of good luck in your future. Thank you.